Welcome to Spooky News from Spooky Ventures for September 23rd, 2022. It's been a long time since I've done any Spooky News, but there isn't a huge demand for it once Halloween goes by, or at least less demand it seems, and I've had other things that needed doing. So while I planned to try to do one every month or so, it just didn't happen that way. Now, I should remind everyone that the Spooky Ventures YouTube channel is just one part of the Spooky Ventures experience. We have a regular website at SpookyVentures.com where you'll find video selections, a link to our Facebook presence, spooky books and calendars from Tales of Wonder and Dread, and links to Spooky Ventures merchandise. You can find the full selection of Spooky Ventures merchandise uh, at CafePress.com slash SpookyVentures. That includes a brand new horrifying Halloween t-shirt and uh, other merch. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel to make sure you see all our new videos. And if you would do us the honor of liking our videos, sharing our videos, and commenting, it will help with the vi visibility of our video releases. With all of that out of the way, let's get to the spooky news itself. Now please note that in the past I've done links to the source articles for the news items a couple of different ways. As was the case most recently, I'll include them at the end of this video, and also in the uh, description section of the video. I'm going to start with some news that is about a paranormal destination. So it's a spooky travel piece. Now that location is the old Joliet Prison in Joliet, Illinois. You know, it's said to be very haunted, and I've written about it before in a book titled Spooky Berwin, which focuses on creepy stories set in the Chicago area. Now, there are often uh, paranormal tours of the old prison, but that's not what this article is about. Starting tomorrow, September 24th, and running through early November, the old prison will be the location of a haunted house attraction, or actually, uh, two new attractions. Some might debate the wisdom of doing a haunted attraction in a notoriously haunted building, but you never know. You might have an actual haunting experience in the process of get, getting your standard human-made Halloween scares. Since I mentioned Berwyn, and since that first story was about the Chicago area, it seems that I should follow it up with a piece of television news that's implicitly tied to both. Now I know I've talked about it quite a bit in the past. But the reason my book, well, technically two books, because the second one was released on the 4th of September uh, at, at lulu.com slash spotlight slash strange sound, but the first book and second book of Spooky Tales set in the Chicago area is titled uh, Spooky Berwin, because that title is an homage to horror host Sven Gulli. Based in Chicago, there's a running gag in the show where the name of the Chicago suburb Berwin is said in a derisive way. Now, since my wife and I are loyal fans of the show, I titled the books as a tribute to Sven Gulli, which is both the name of the show and the character played by Rich Coase. He's also the mastermind behind the show, and uh, the show airs on MeTV. This year, for the Halloween season, they're going all in on the Sven Gulli experience. They're calling it Sven Gulli's Halloween Bonanza, and it kicks off on the 1st of October. The month will include, in addition to the usual weekly Saturday night show featuring Sven Gulli, Sundays devoted to uh, spooky episodes of various shows, the return of the Sven Gulli inspired puppet show Sven Tooney, and the first ever one hour Sven Gulli special. Now that special bears the title Sven Gulli Uncrypted, and it will air on October 1st. It is said to feature Sven leaving his dungeon and going around meeting new friends. It is also supposed to tell uh, some of the 43-year history of Sven Gulli and the show. Super fan that I am, I'm definitely looking forward to it, and I'll bet that some of you watching this video are too. Continuing our look at spooky television shows, the people at Marvel have released a trailer for their upcoming Werewolf by Night special. For those unfamiliar, Werewolf by Night was a character, well actually it was two characters in two different in different series, 
from Marvel in the comics in the 1970s. Uh, the TV incarnation is going to be a one-hour special on Disney Plus for Spooky Season. It looks like they're going for a vintage horror style for the series, at least from the trailer, but Disney Plus also says it's a comedy, so I'm thinking horror comedy. Either way, the trailer looks like the show will be lots of fun. It is scheduled to be released on Disney Plus on October 7th. Next, let's turn to movies, but we'll be sticking to streaming services with some new uh, news items. Netflix has a new movie coming on October 14th that sounds like it should be spooky fun too. It's called The Curse of Bridge Hollow, and the premise is that a curse causes all the Halloween decorations in a town to come alive and start terrorizing the residents of that town. Now, as you might expect of a movie with Marlon Wayans, as a principal cast member, it is also a horror comedy. Sticking with Netflix, a new trailer has been released for an upcoming Stephen King adaptation. The movie is called Mr. Harrigan's Phone, and it focuses on a cell phone that gets tucked into the pocket of a man as he's being buried, and how it allows his friend to stay in touch with him beyond the grave. Now, that might be a feel-good movie in someone else's hands, but as you might uh, expect with Stephen King, it apparently turns very dark as things go very wrong from there. The movie is set to premiere on the streaming service on October 5th. A new trailer has been released for a serial killer movie called Shot in the Dark. It's a creepy look at, a mo at the movie, at a movie that sounds like it should be spooky. That one is being re released directly to video on demand on October 4th. Turning to theaters, did you see the original Halloween in a movie theater? If not, did you ever wish that you did? Well, that movie, along with Halloween 4 and Halloween 5, will be coming back to select theaters next month. I'm sure it's uh, part of a celebration of the holiday and part uh, generating, or part in honor of the release of Halloween Ends. But no matter the reason, it's a great opportunity for some spooky theatrical fun. Now that's all the news items I have for you, uh, but I wanted to mention a couple of other things. First, I told you about the various items that you can find at the Spooky Ventures website. Well, there's one thing that I neglected to mention, and that is that we have an events calendar. Scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll find a link. We list the dates important to those of us who are interested in spooky things. For instance, today's Event listing is a movie called Don't Worry Darling, which is being released on this date. Tomorrow, the classic original Poltergeist movie returns to select theaters in honor of the 40th anniversary of its release, and you'll find that date on the calendar too. That's a wrap for this edition of Spooky News. The plan is to do one per week through the end of October, so if that works out, I'll see you all here in a week. In the meantime, if you have any uh, spooky news you think should be included in a later update, please get in touch. And remember, as always, keep it spooky. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.